This is the solenoid lyre. Uh, it's another instrument I've been making recently. Um, it's kind of my own invention, I guess. Um, yeah, the uh, basic idea is based on I saw a six string lyre player uh, using his fingers to damp the strings while he was strumming. He was like strumming all the strings at the same time and using his diff uh, fingers to damp specific strings and then you take, take them off so that you'd like let the string sound kind of almost like the reverse of playing the guitar where you sort of fret the notes that you want to play um, combined with this kind of string fan thing idea this this thing here which is a sort of kind of reconstruction I guess to some extent of the thing which I was using on the electric guitar which had this incredible kind of like uh, kind of uh, yeah vibrato well, tremolando's kind of effect across the strings. So I thought, well, if you're going to have an instrument that had that going all the time, you'd need to kind of be able to switch on and off the string. So, um, hence the the kind of lyre technique, which is what these felt pads are all about. These are effectively like the fingers on the of the lyre technique, um, which are activated by switches. So they come on and off, uh, micro switches which allow the strings to be kind of released, so I guess to some extent. Um, I decided with this to add a second function with hooks at the, um, the third harmonic point, which is like the basically the fifth of the fundamental, the fundamental note of the string, like the full string length. So um, with the string kind of undampened, it's got, you can add the kind of, you kind of hook the note on the top. Um, yeah, so I'll give you a quick demo of what it should have worked like. I say should have, because it's to be honest, it doesn't really work. Well, it doesn't sound anything like what the guitar sounded like with this kind of fan technique. It's kind of quite noisy without anything really playing, and that sort of destroys the effect of opening opening strings off. And um, I can add in the <laughs> some of these don't quite work. So you've got quite a range in there, um, a range of different notes, anyway. Initially this was going to be part of a set, I'll just switch the fan off, initially this was going to be part of a set of um, like automatic instruments. I was going to have four that had different functions, um, I kind of, like, time and money defeated me basically. Uh, and yeah, I just kind of focused on this and the, the harmonics guitar, or harmonic guitar, which is the, um, there's another video by me about that. Um, so yeah, it was good. Like I think, in the context of it being of um, other automatic instruments that would be making continual noises, I think it wouldn't have been quite so. Uh, don't know. I sort of feel like it's been a bit of a failure to some extent. Um, it's. I mean, it's not because a lot of these things work, which I didn't even didn't even know whether they would or not really. Um, the body is made from sycamore. Uh, the <laughs> the bridge. Um, this end is made from oak. The other end is made from ash. This is uh, fret wire for the thingy, rest bins for tuning. Um, yeah, the the um, like the nuts, I guess. Up this end is uh, actually the saddle's made from a like thin metal bar there. But then I wanted to turn this into um, like like the sort of bridge that you get on a sitar kind of buzzing bridge. Um, so far, I haven't yet got it working, but um, I think it will. I just you know a bit more perseverance maybe. So single coil pickup, um, which goes straight into a tone and volume control, which actually was crucial because if I put the fan back on again, which is noisy as it's uh, well yeah, you just see what it sounds like. Uh, 
noise <laughs> it makes it even more noisy, although it does kind of open up the sound a little bit. So yeah, I guess it's kind of a, uh, that's it. I guess that's it, because an ABV. It's not really a functional instrument, uh, as yet, anyway. Uh, I've done some experiments with a friend of mine, and we used it without this fan, just by... Um, oh, <laughs> One. Um, you could hear the crackling sound then, because uh, I still need to put some um, diodes across the across the connections so that the I don't know reduce the reduce the crackling of the solenoids uh, and, and the micro switches. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, so it's, it's kind of a, it's like a prototype, really. It's a work in progress. There's several ideas that I'm going to take further from this. So yeah, watch this space. <laughs>